This is actually human and canine hair stuck in pantyhose. It's three and a half feet long and each hair boom can actually soak up about nine gallons of oil. Tonight we've got the inside scoop on how they're made and why they actually work. It's a strange concept. Get a haircut, save the golf, but it might just work. If everybody does a little bit and uh, that little bit becomes another bit and uh, you know it, it grows into something that uh, helps. Today 40 people flocked into Andrea's organic hair salon in Naples for a free trim. And how much hair did you donate today? Everything that I had, you know, I don't have that much. But <laughs> I wish I had a long, long head of hair. <laughs> Every last snippet goes toward this. Oh, we're making booms with hair and stockings. Now here's how they work. Scales and hair create pockets which trap the oil but won't trap water. So when stuffed into pantyhose, the hair can be used as a mat or a protective barrier boom. Put this on the inside. Ingrid Setzer is leading the this hair boom team in Southwest Florida. Today she helped volunteers make the first 11 booms. I know it's alleviating a lot of anxiety that people have right now to be able to help and it's an extraordinary effort that I've witnessed. Oh my gosh, is this hair? Oh my gosh, it's hair! And the hair just keeps coming in. Shipped from hair salons and dog groomers all over the country. 450,000 pounds have been donated nationwide since the Gulf of Mexico spill. So many people hoping something as simple as hair could protect something as important as home. I have seven grandchildren and, um, you know, I want this world to be nice for them. So whatever we can do. So Sarah originally did the story on Monday telling people about this program. So how successful we saw a little bit in your story, how right. successful it's actually been. Well, since that story aired on Monday, it's actually grown 400%. 400? 400? Yeah, with people mailing in their hair, this has gotten really popular. Wow. So if people want to get involved, all they have to do is go to matteroftrust.org and they can find out all the information on how to get involved locally and nationally. Okay, matteroftrust.org. Okay, thanks, Sarah. Very interesting. Hopefully that will help us here in Southwest Florida. <laughs>